Third grade English language arts teacher Tracy Kiplinger couldn't believe she was named Beck Elementary School's exemplar educator for this school year. She was really surprised and she was like, whoa. She screamed really loud. She's crying so loud. I had just settled them down to do a reading activity during work here, and I actually screamed. So the joke was you could hear my scream all the way through Trophy Club, but I just was, I was very excited. I couldn't believe it. I was shocked, but just excited that I could represent Beck Elementary and Northwest ISD. I felt proud um, that I was given this opportunity and this experience, and also um, to have attention on my class, that, that now my class has attention so students can see all the, you know, the activities and learning that's taking place here in third grade. That they are pushing, the, you know, we're pushing the limits in here, that they're being challenged, looking what they're, accom they're accomplishing. Um, it's not just about a test. I teach third grade, so we do have a lot of, um, we have the STAR test, but it's, the emphasis is not on that. I'm not preparing them for a test. I'm preparing them to be a lifelong learner, be a problem solver, and um, to be a productive citizen out there. Tracy is preparing her students to become lifelong learners, to become problem solvers, and to be productive citizens. A huge task for a reading and writing teacher. A huge task that is accomplished with tons of fun and excitement. Um, she's very unique and she makes every day of learning very fun. Each Friday or each week we have to do a test like of CAC. Um, she does um, stuff like this, if you get 90 or above, you get to do a drawing for a bling bag. Um, there's like a new advertisement of a highlighter that you get to use. Um, no other teacher in third grade does that. They just get to do something fun. Miss Kiplinger is fun. She makes learning fun for the class. And she always give us, gives us fun little incentives, like fill the mug. I love to provide energy in the classroom and keep the kids up and moving, making it relevant and engaging. We do a lot of just quick um, formative assessments. We do um, something I call Readers and Writers Cafe where students are rotating among stations and just making it fun for them so that they'll buy into whatever content that we're teaching here in the classroom and that they're excited to come in every day. Tracy's students are not just students to her. She truly considers them a part of her family. I feel, um, I really feel it's the relationship that I form with my students. We have a pirate theme in my room. Um, we have a class mascot, which is Captain. And one of my students actually pinned me the other day as Captain. And um, it's more getting the students to, to course, like I said, buy into whatever we're doing here in the classroom, wanting them to come every day. I make them a part of my life and involve them with activities that I do outside of school. And I also um, join in and I want to be a part of their lives outside of school. If you would like to nominate a teacher, counselor, or librarian for a spotlight on the net, email Adam Bennett at abennett at nisdtx.org.